Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Jesus loves you. I want you to always remember that. Although I'm probably preaching to the, what do they say? Preaching to the choir <laughs> when I say that. There might be a couple that just look, what do they call them, lurkers? <laughs> like to come and see what's going on. Just to see what's going on. Okay, well, I have a prophecy to read to you. Um, this one is from a woman I've shared before. Her name is a uh, handmaiden of the most, let's see, handmaid of the most high. This was posted by handmaid of the most high on prophecy. Uh, well, it's Prophecy News, 444prophecynews.com. And I'll put the link in the description box. It's titled, Ready or Not, Here He Comes, from Handmaid of the Most High. Ready or Not, Here He Comes, given December 3rd at 8.44 p.m. Word from the Living God, December 3rd, 2020. Well, she puts here 5 p.m. Saints of God, that day is nearly here. Yes, the one that day Jesus said that we would see as the last generation in Matthew 24 and Matthew 25. It is nigh. Are you ready? Are you calling on him moment by moment to keep you sanctified? This is her talking clearly. I keep reading people talking about their physical preparations as if having money, water, and food will protect your soul. Oh, how absolutely frustrated. I become when I see these comments on the internet happy that they are awake but they are so very blind that so many will die. Many of them, the very people posting that they are ready yet the Lord is saying they are not prepared in their hearts. All right. And she says, how is that so? They are not walking with the Lord moment by moment, day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute. Arise, children, and see that the redemption is nigh. Here is what the Lord desires you to know. My beloved, Oh, how I long to see you. It is so soon upon you. Why do so many fight among you? Why do you demand that others bow to your desires, your viewpoints, your opinions? Do you not realize that it is silly? You are so self-important that you resist anything that is not your truth? What about my truth? What about my holy desire for you and all of my creation? It isn't just about you. Pause. Oh, Heavenly Father, I pray that 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 what I say is always about you and not just about me. That it's not my opinion, but your truth that I wish to put forth always, always. And I ask you to let your Holy Spirit help me to do that. In your precious Son, Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. Now he goes on to say, It is about my beloved son. See up here he just said, It isn't just about you. 
It is about my beloved son. What have you done with him? He alone is the only way to me. Not your opinion or someone famous or your favorite YouTube guru. Nope. Only Jesus. There is only one way. I've always proclaimed that. So sit down and pay attention. Here's what you must do now. You must now do. Do you accept his work on the cross? He was sinless. You are not. He was the only true sacrifice. The only manner I provided to cleanse you from your filthy sins. If you think your works, words, or thoughts will free you from sin, you are wrong. Only Jesus does that. How do you get sin free? Repent to him, Jesus, who died for you. There is only one way, not as not many as various liars claim. They claim that there are many ways to Jesus or many ways to heaven. Ask Jesus, please forgive me all my sins by your precious blood shed on Calvary for me. Take on my sin and exchange them for your sinless nature. Help me not return to my sins. That's what Father is saying to ask Jesus. Then, daily, at a minimum, ask him to review all the sins you have recently committed and cleanse them. Ask for healing. Don't hold grudges, hatred, anger, animosity, bitterness, resentment, etc. against anyone. Ask for help to let those feelings to be healed. Realize if you forgive not a sin, you can't be forgiven. How sad is that? Then each day, show mercy and love to others you experience contact with. You are called to love your neighbor as yourself. It is simple when you get down to it, but it requires my Holy Spirit strength. Lean on me, not your understanding. It is so simple. A concept, but it requires full, total, absolute submission to me. I love you, and many are coming very soon as destruction is unleashed on your planet. It is only a short time now. My son is on alert. He knows. Let's see, I love you and many are coming very soon as destruction is unleashed on your planet. I was surprised he said many are coming, but that's good to hear. That was my only, um, I've never heard a message where it was saying many are coming. It was always very few. So, we take this to the Lord. I didn't want to not share the whole thing because of one word. So, if you don't want to believe it, it's up to you. But I would not say that it came from uh, an evil spirit. I'm not going to go there. Okay. Still Father speaking. I love you and many are coming very soon. As destruction is unleashed on your planet. It is only a short time now. My son is on alert. He knows that many are coming. 
and he is so excited to welcome you, beloved ones. See that you are ready, one and all. I am sending him to make the way. Those who do not get to escape now will soon be joining us because of other planned assaults upon your flesh. Do not despair, my lovely children. It is all in my word. Ask my Holy Spirit to reveal it to you. Okay. See, those who do not get to escape now will soon be joining us because of other planned assaults upon your flesh. Yeah, that's the wrath of God. So, those who are born again and repenting and loving God and realizing their mistakes and getting cleaned up, they will join us soon after. I figured it was soon after. Ask my Holy Spirit to reveal it to you. Do not fear the loss of your life. I am here on the other side. I am awaiting your arrival. It is better to serve me unto death than surrender to the plans of the enemy. I said, whoever loses his life will gain it, and whoever seeks to gain his life will lose it. I meant that. Do you not see? It isn't a riddle, beloved. It is a promise from the Heavenly Father who has longed for your time of redemption forever. I love you so much. I'll see you soon. Take refuge in my word. It is faithful and true. Believe not those who promise silly words but are not grounded in me. And that's the end. And it just says, Handmaid of the Most High. So, um, I'll just leave it at that. And if there are scriptures on here, First Peter 2, 24, English Standard Version, He Himself bore our sins in His body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By His wounds you have been healed. Hallelujah. Hebrews 10, 1 through 5 of the Living Bible says, The old system of Jewish laws gave only a dim foretaste of the good things Christ would do for us. The sacrifices under the old system were repeated again and again, year after year, but even so they could never save those who lived under their rules. If they could have, one offering would have been enough. The worshipers would have been cleansed once for all, and their feeling of guilt would be gone. But just the opposite happened. Those yearly sacrifices reminded them of their disobedience and guilt instead of relieving their minds. For it is not possible for the blood of bulls and goats really to take away sins. That is why Christ said as he came into the world, Oh, I'm sorry, my lips are getting chapped. Oh God, 
The blood of bulls and goats cannot satisfy you. So you have made ready this body of mine for me to lay as a sacrifice upon your altar. Then she added Hebrews ten seventeen through 22. Oh, there are several here. Matthew 6, 15. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Luke 21, 24 through 28. You can look those up. Matthew sixteen twenty five, Revelation five seven through ten. Matthew seven twenty through twenty three. Oh, and John fourteen six, and Matthew twenty four, verse thirty six. Okay, so if you want to look those up, you can just pause the video, write them down, back it up, pause it, write them down, whatever, and look them up yourself, because that's a lot of reading. And I'm going to end it here and say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, and I do pray that he will reveal to me and to you, if this is not of him, many are many going to go. Perhaps through these last several years of us people hearing, I used to hear from him. I just haven't lately, like a year and a half. But I had several messages but it was you know 2013 2014 a lot of people did that back then even um uh marriage supper of the lamb susan davis she got hers in like 2009 2010 wrote them up in books had them published they're like 99 cents on amazon susan davis marriage supper of the lamb you can download them onto a kindle for 99 cents and that goes to amazon she doesn't make a thing off of them and so people have been getting their messages and a lot of folks just won't believe it i messaged my sister yesterday and told her we're here it's time the uh can you look around and see all that's going on? I said, the first rapture is going to happen any time now. And then we'll be back. I told her too much, I guess. She hasn't replied back. They just can't handle it. She cannot handle hearing that the rapture is near. She wants to finish living her life here. Why would you not want to know? I don't get that. I don't get it. How you can be a Christian, go to church every Sunday, if your church is open, and you don't care that it could be true? Do they just automatically assume, I don't know what I'm talking about? Probably. Because I... I didn't grow up a saint. I didn't go to seminary. Who am I to say what I'm saying? It's really sad. But when you get a couple of messages that were not from the Lord, like the July 17th, surely to goodness, that's not going to happen. I hope we're not here until next July, unless they back off on this vaccine. And it doesn't become an issue until then. They're paying people now. Oh, I wanted to share this with you. Let me tack this on the end. Oh, gosh, Lord, help me find it. Well, I'll just have to make it a separate video. I don't want to drag this out any longer.
It was about them paying people to get your next COVID check. If you'll take the vaccine, you'll get it. And it's like $1,500. Ridiculous. So anyway, I have a feeling some will voluntarily and people will drop dead and they'll be like backing off like, oh, I ain't taking it. You keep your money. And they'll be like, oh, we got to go back to the drawing board and make this safer. Mm -hmm. That could happen. But anyway, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us, our devices, and our internet connections. And I thank you, Lord, for fixing mine. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.